Hey everyone, thank you for joining the YouTube video for the Duchess of Unicorn YouTube channel. And if you haven't been here before, I am based in the United States and I share my browsing with you on topic, which the topic is the Royals as it pertains to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, but he's kind of ghosty. So he's not really in a lot of these videos because he's like totally disappeared. Like he's being, to me, a true royal. He's not saying anything in response because it's beneath him. That's what we think royals would think, right? Okay, so today is February 23rd. It's Sunday, so it's, it's really a slow, quiet day around my house. I'm based in the United States and I'm sharing this particular starting the video off with this particular uh, title from Fox News, this article here, because I had just done a 30 minute video and I deleted it by accident. <sighs> Sundays, you know, instead of being angry, I just quickly went right back to it. And so here we go. The real disclaimer that my, in, my channel is for entertainment purely only, okay? And it's all my opinion. I do research. I do browse the internet along with you sometimes, but on my own, and I keep notes on what's happening with Miss Markle, okay? But all this channel is, is my opinions, a little fun, and just some commentary, just some thoughts on what I think is happening. And I'm entitled to that under free speech. I don't agree with a lot of the things that is happening between um, Meghan Markle, the, some of the stuff that she says. And, and it's not just what she says, it's kind of what she does. Um, but I do see that she's a person of action and she's not just a person that's gonna talk about it, she's going to be about it. Unfortunately, she's being about bullshit. She's being about chaotic and toxicity and nobody after a short while will be able to deal with something like that because people want peace and they want love in their life and they want to have, you know, good news. They don't need your silliness. But on my channel, I kind of just give a little spin and I try to keep it light. So don't come here to try to think that I'm a reporter because I'm not. Okay. You could think of this as gossip if you want. My opinions only. And of course your opinions. So in the comments, I read your comments and I appreciate them. So, you know, all are welcome. Just keep it, you know, clean and keep it real. So today I'm reading Meghan Markle's friend. Jessica Mulroney, uh, Meghan Markle's handler, a.k.a. friend, registers website for Sussex Global Charities. Now, that's interesting that she has her friend, so-called, I'm using quotation, air quotations, friend registers a website for her, for her brand, Sussex Global Charities. Okay, so we just maybe got a clue and what the new name is going to be, but this seems like a really shoddy move. Like why can't Megan or her assistant or her PR team register a website for her Sussex Global Charities? Why? Why does her friend, quote unquote friend that lives in Canada that has nothing to do with the royalty, except that she was her friend or stylist prior to when she married Prince Harry. Why is she registering? The website for her. So I find that kind of um, in a move that's kind of elementary. Like it's very kiddish in terms of how Megan is supposed to be projecting how woke and, and how, you know, uh, trendy and how um, feministic she is, if that's even a word, feministic. How feminine, you know, feminist she is why can't she just go ahead and dot, 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 register a website? Because people, what, are watching her? Is she frightened? Or is she just so royal that she can't be so bothered with registering a new royal website? And why would Jessica Maroney, who is a stylist, be doing that for her? 
it just seems like the 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 whole theme with Megan that everything is not what it seems. And she doesn't seem woke to me. She seems broke to me, like broken to me. Why don't you just have your PR team or your assistant or Harry's assistant? Why not have one of those people do your website for you? Why does Jessica Maroney in Canada with her two or three kids and her own life and her own beginning reality show or her own position as a stylist, why does she registering websites? It sounds weird to me. Okay, so I wanted to share that with you just in case you haven't seen that yet because I'm in the United States and that's what I do. The Duchess of Unicorn YouTube channel shares the United States browser, which is my own algorithms in terms of how I'm searching for Megan and what pops up is or can be. It's not that it is different from your your view, but it can be different based on geography, um, location and what your browser brings to you based on your algorithms that you're searching. So I'm, I think it's kind of interesting because everybody can sometimes have a totally different view or an advanced view. Maybe you've gotten better articles that pop up on your browser. Um, maybe I do. So I just share that because I think it's an interesting unknown point. So I'm going to skim this, but we don't really care, but we care in the way that it's a train wreck and we want to kind of try to take our eyes off of it. But right now we're here to take our eyes on it. Megan Markle's pal, Jessica Mulroney, is stepping in to help her friends. Okay, the article already seems like it's applied. According to People Magazine, which People Magazine in my on my side of the the world seems to be pushing a ton of this Megan stuff. It's like, did Megan pick you because she thinks that the world reads people and, you know, People Magazine and it's like her best outlet to push stupidness that's going on in her silly small world into our feed? It, it is probably so because it's always People Magazine and they always shine such nice light on what she's doing. According to People Magazine, Mulroney registered the website SussexGlobalCharities.com on Wednesday, February 19th via her charity Shoebox Project Foundation. Shoebox, I have to look that up. The news, the news of the website registration comes just days after it was announced that Prince Harry and can't use the word royal in their branding. So that was something that I think we all know now, that the queen has definitely said, hey, yo, you are not going to be using the royal Sussex as a brand for you to draw in donors and investments for your gain of your brand. And you're not going to use it on my back that I've grown this monarchy from when I was 18 years old. Oh, hell no, is what the queen is saying. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex do not intend to use Sussex Royale in any territory post-spring 2020, a spokesperson for the couple told People magazine. And so they're not going to use Sussex Royale. So they're not using Royal, but they're going to use the Sussex, uh, potentially, this is what we're saying, SussexGlobalCharities.com, which I won't be giving a dollar to, never mind a penny. Okay. Um, and that's what I, I don't understand is why would you need your friend, quote unquote, air quotes, friend to step in for anything when you're married into a billion dollar business, a, a billion dollar institution. This is what you wanted. You want to have access to money to do things that you want to do. And here's where I really start to scratch my head. Where are they getting the funds to do so? Where are they getting all this money to do so? Well, apparently it has to be the Duchy of Cornwall, but I'm just not sure yet because I haven't researched upon the Duchy of Cornwall. When that money gets distributed, is it monthly? 
Is it yearly? When does Charles distribute monies to his family members, his immediate family, like Prince William, Kate, Megan, Harry, whatever? When does that money become available to them? Is it monthly? Is it weekly? Is it per event? Is it per uh, year? I, I just don't know. And if anybody knows, please leave that in the comment. That's That'll be very interesting and helpful to know. When does the Duchy of Cornwall release funding for royals, each royal? Again, I wonder if it's by payment by your, you know, your events when you show up to an event because you're working, right? Is it because you're, you know, do, do, does, do you get this money yearly, like a payout yearly, like, you know, $8 million a year, like, and you just live on that for the year? Because if you think about it, Megan would burn through that. Just trying to, just trying to be so woke. She tried to be, you know, relevant to the world in so many different levels and so many different avenues that it would just be, ugh, you know, she's never going to be like Beyonce. She's never, the talent isn't there. She can be smart. A lot of people are smart, but that doesn't mean she's talent as talented as she is smart. Does that make sense? So just because she's smart and she can be like savvy and, and she can be, you know, uh, basically she's just kind of being chaotic, but for whatever other thing that she's trying to be, what I see is someone trying to climb ladders and I'm not faulting her for that because we all do it. I mean, we all go to jobs and want the best pay that we can get. We want the best partner that we can have for ourselves, right? Or at least the best relationship from that partner. We want the best car. We want the best home that suits us for whatever various reasons. You never want to go into anything going, oh, I want the very worst. Or I'll take whatever. It's okay. I'll take whatever I get. It's all right. Give me anything. I'm, I'm just so, you know, vague that I'll take anything. So no, we, we all do that. So we need first to stop acting like we ourselves in our own personal little worlds of our own don't expect the best for ourselves. 99.9% .9 of us expect the best. What we ever think is the best is our own individual taste and circumstances. But so we don't want to falter for that because that's not where I'm at. I'm talking about the fact that your personality can change when it's introduced to billions of dollars at your potentially billions of dollars exposed to you potentially. And that your first thought was less about love per se, or maybe it was about love, but then becomes more about the money. Because when I see Prince Harry and Meghan together, I don't see any electricity. I don't see any, any aura or colors. I don't see beautiful things when I look at them. I don't see a couple in love. I see, when I look at Harry, I see someone super stressed. Like he's, his personality is looking pretty ugly these days, in my opinion. And when I look at Megan, I see someone who's very smug and feels like she has hit the lot. She's not loose and silly about it, but what I feel is you almost, and when you hear her on, like when reporters are following her and she's talking to people around her, she seems so phony. Like it seems so applied. And her demeanor is that of she's trying so hard to be relevant and so happy that she has a supply of funds. And that's all I see. I don't see any love. I don't see any beauty. It's true when they say that your personality dictates your your attractiveness. So although she's a physically attractive person, right, feature-wise, all you can see is the ugliness of her personality. It's It's a monster. And I just don't understand how the royal family got baited into this because it seems like 
yes, they would look back at her personality. So at that point, when she was at her personality in at least the media, she had a couple of boyfriends. She was married once, you know, um, she's been climbing a ladder. You know, she doesn't look too saucy or anything, but she doesn't look too shiny either. It almost looks like she's super average or just below average in terms of royalty looking at you. Like when they look at Kate Middleton, she went to an Ivy League school. Her parents were millionaires. She's well, you know, bred. She's, you know, hasn't been married before. So she didn't make any of those type of mistakes. Um, I don't know anything about like saying like if she had been with other men or not. But the point is, is she looked pretty like um, someone who could be a decent choice for the royals. Now, of course, she already had some type of connections being in an Ivy League school and, and actually being from a wealthy family who I believe her family was well, um, was self-made by a party, party company, party supply company that her mother started. So there are smart moves that that family has made. So that must be a good thing for them. But in terms of Megan, it's like totally different. Like she had been in acting, but had used her father's money. Her father won the lottery, which is really interesting, I think. And that's how he supported her through her, you know, high school years and then college he paid for. But then it's, reported by Megan that she did um, financial aid. Hello, did you say financial aid? I'm not sure if it was financial aid or loans. So if you know that if she did loans, that's different. But financial aid, like they don't give you financial aid. The governments do not give you financial aid if you have parents that are making money. Like if your parents are won the lottery, you wouldn't need financial aid. Okay, so I'm just going to skip over that. But now we're seeing in this article that we she needs Jessica Maroney to register a website. That just seems either a smokescreen or if it's real and they wanted it to leak out. I'm just saying, why? Doesn't Megan have a PR team and that she obviously someone's paying and doesn't she have uh, an assistant or two or three? Like she has a team of people that work for her that do these things. Why bring Jessica Maroney into it? I'm not sure. It seems to me like there's a lot of this going on around Megan, like useless things, useless steps, useless news reporting. And now the other thing I'd like to just put into this video again is how I'm still bewildered why we cannot see any photos of just Megan or Harry and Meghan today in the present. Why aren't any reporters taking photos? Now, I do know that Meghan had, um, you know, threatened or is suing these newspapers along with Harry is suing, I, you know, whatever. I guess they need that money. They're suing over invasion of privacy. But yet when this happened, you were royal. So you were public servants. You're serving your country, which in Megan's case is not her country, nor did she even become a citizen. Now, it makes you wonder if she was even able to become a citizen. Perhaps there were some things there that they were not willing to allow her to, to be a citizen. Or maybe, again, she just didn't really want to be a citizen, so it wasn't really put out there because she obviously knew that she really didn't need to be a citizen. She doesn't need to. She doesn't really like your country, UK. Sorry. She might not really want to come back after a year or two. She's probably at five years, not even going to be involved directly with the UK at all, period. No way, no shape, no form. So maybe it's okay for us to believe on our own, from my own opinion, myself, especially that Megan really never intended to be part of the royal family in such a way that it was endearing or it was real. Maybe she really doesn't feel that Prince Harry is her prince and, she, you know, her, the, he maybe is a great guy, but maybe she's not that into him. Have you ever read that book? Maybe it's not you. He's just not that into you. I forgot who the author is, but they made a movie about it. But anyway... Maybe she's really just not that into Prince Harry. He's just kind of 
you know, I mean, he's cute because he seems to have a decent personality and he's kind of, but really, do you really think Megan really loves Harry? Like I said, in my opinion, when I look at them and I try to look at them with an open heart and really just stare at the photos that we're getting, the chemistry is just junk. It's just, it seems like Megan is stretching and I'm not saying that it's about looks or anything, but it seems like she wouldn't want to lose Harry until she herself had enough money on her own to be able to step in a certain direction. And then when we look back at her father being alienated because maybe she wanted to keep him and she still continues to want to keep him as far out of the loop as possible because maybe she doesn't want to bring him into something dangerous or something um, telling and wants to exclude him completely. And maybe that was part of the contract that I imagine that they have in my own mind. Um, it doesn't make any sense to us, but there's clearly things going on. And also Doria, it's been reported that Doria, although she used to be a social worker and lived in a, a f somewhat average lifestyle, except I'm sure her daughter helped her with things. It seems like in later in life, she went back and got a degree. Now she either got a degree and paid for it outright, which it makes you wonder if Megan has helped with that, which I think I read once that Megan had put her mother and paid for her mother's schooling. And I find that interesting, but also endearing, but it's a kind of, you know, you're kind of building a, a, a plot or a scene here to say, what the hell is this just was a contract, but why would Harry need to marry anybody temporarily? Well, maybe it wanted to boost monarchy, the relevance of the monarchy into you know, the, the, you know, the, you know, the next century, you know, have it be boosted and have it be brought up more again, any, you know, even the monarchy as an institution works a little bit like entertainment. Like she does, the queen probably doesn't want to be embarrassed and doesn't look for that type of stuff. But if it can make the monarchy seem more apparent and more relative to today and in the future and be posted into the future as rel relevant, then maybe ar arrangements can be made between someone who's not going to be exactly a perfect match for the family. I'm not so sure about that, but I tried to think a little bit more devious because again, money is power. So I think it's a little bit mix of a lot of situations, a lot of diverse, you know, information, you know, maybe it is a type of contract. Clearly it is because, you know, a marriage between two people is a contract if we just look at it plain and simple. But if we're looking at love, you know, when they had their wedding, I don't think Prince Harry could have acted or if you really don't like someone, I don't think you could really act in the way that he did. There was some touching moments that if you look back at the wedding video, you can see that Prince Harry looks really, I don't know, like it's a special thing and that he's really looking with big doe eyes at her. And I, I don't know if you can really act that way if you really don't like someone or you really don't want to do something, you know? Um, and Prince Harry kind of wears a little bit of himself on his sleeve. And so I kind of believe that part. So I don't really think it's 100% of like some type of contract. So I, I kind of cross that off my mind list that I made in my head, you know. And I look at Megan's behavior from the point of at, even at the wedding, she didn't really look in love. And the, we don't know her. So but, you know, how do we know what she looks like when she's in love? So we don't. But I look at that as if, can I see anything? And I saw nothing. I didn't really see the endearing, the, you know, the endearing moments. Like I, I felt like they were kind of applied. And I said that even when I was watching, but I didn't feel that with Prince, Prince Harry. So there's something there that, that helps with my assumption. And then my opinion goes further that everything she's been doing 
And all that we've been seeing reported looks like it's all Megan, 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 Megan. It's like she completely put her name on that register and she completely just took off with it from there on. And like I said, greed can get the best of you, especially when you have certain tendencies. And we'll never know because you have to have the experience to know what tendencies are pulled out. So I feel like she's just going ape shit and she is completely, you know, delirious with money in her mind. And I just feel like she's just got this kid with him and it's just like, she's just winning all the way around. And even if she was divorced to divorce him, she is set for life. She is set for life, life, and then another life. She really is. And then she wouldn't have to deal with us or me or any other YouTuber, or any other reporter or any other institution judging her because she'd already be all set, which she really is all set. And we're just kind of talking about the past in the future. She's done. She's completely made it. She has gotten the prize. She has the child. And even though we think that he doesn't look a sm a bit like Prince, nothing and barely looks like her, but definitely doesn't look like Prince Harry at all, period, is amazing. So to me, it makes it look like it's somebody else, somebody else's kid. But I'm just someone's, you know, who's giving their opinion. I'm not the person that, you know, I'm, I'm not the authority on it. So I want to wrap this video up and say, wow, look out for Glo Sussex Global Charities and don't even think like, oh, they don't want our money anyway. What they want is they want investments, investors. They want to do big parties to where people give their money and they can be, they meaning Megan can be introduced to people who may be able to help her with things like the TIG and all this other stuff. Because you feel like when she registered Sussex Royal, Sussex Royal.com, Sussex Royal, whatever that is, and I've already forgotten. Um, she trademarked a bunch of things. So, you know, she, she is trademarking this like crazy. And now she has that money and was a waste. And there's people starving. So how come Megan didn't issue a statement saying, you know, I'm really heartbroken. You know, I had done this, but maybe it's my fault. I had jumped the gun on it. And, you know, all this money that I've used to, to do this, I could have went to feed a village, if not a half a country in Africa, you know, so like, it's such, it's such hypocrisy to the 10th power. And instead of just stepping back and just going back to her TIG or whatever she thought was so awesome prior to Harry, it's like, that is now not good enough. And it's got to be a new and bigger day. That's not what people do who are not greedy or who are not malicious. You would just go back to your simple life that you supposedly had before, or maybe not return to acting because she married into the family, but she could at least go out into a business venture or to do something for the world directly. She doesn't have to, to try to, to secure her future. And really, how is her son benefiting from this? If she has a son with Prince Harry, how is the kid benefiting from this? How is this being a private life? All right. I'm going to end that there. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you have some of your own opinions that you can share because wow, is this continually getting crazier? It's like, it's not going up crazy. It's going sideways, crazy, dip back down, crazy, go a little bit higher, crazy, come back down, crazy. It's not like she's going higher and higher and it's getting more and more spectacular. It's becoming a big shit emoji. All right. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.